It was really cool to get back to the island and see um, the amount of surfing taking place. When I was first there, back in the mid 90s, there was a handful of guys that surfed, but it, you know, there was there wasn't m much surfboards. There wasn't, you know, there wasn't too many people surfing back then. And, and now, going to the island and um, going to the um, the school and talking to the kids and seeing their stoke and seeing them watch the surf videos and wanting stickers and just how amped they were about surfing was really cool. It's changed a lot and there still isn't much. I mean, it's a small island, but you can really see it. I mean, I think there's a deep culture of surfing within the Polynesian people and, you know, if the kids had more boards, I think every single kid there would be surfing. The waves in Rapa Nui are much like the waves in Hawaii. They're raw, powerful. They break really close to the rocks. It's a really difficult, heavy, exciting place to surf. It's one of those places where when you get out of the water, you feel like you just survived the battle. It's, um, it's probably one of the scarier places on earth to surf just because of how far away and disconnected and how dangerous and close to the rocks and there's just nothing there. It's you, some statues, and some cows and horses walking around. That's it. There's you know you're out in the middle of nowhere. If anything happens to you, which it can very easily happen, um, you can get into some pretty deep trouble pretty quickly.